one two mostly bulb jays here i have a 2011 ford focus my wife's car she was complaining of a noise she heard uh sounded like a belt uh, i was going to show you how to diagnose this problem but we opened the hood and well the snake bit us so we are going to skip that part and just show you what the problem is and uh we'll show you how to replace it all right i would uh start it and show you guys the noise it was making but if you look down there you know it's gonna be kind of hard to get my hand in here that was the belt tensioner or not tensioner sorry idler that's what it looks like now that's what it's supposed to look like so we're gonna start by uh removing the belt which i gotta get down to the tensioner and uh, put something on it to loosen this belt up so I can pull it off. And then after that, we will pull the old tensioner, well, what's remaining, off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, getting the car all jacked up, put the jack stands underneath it, yank this wheel off, and uh, then we'll start going in and tearing into it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take this uh, shield off here and that will reveal some of the pulleys so I can get access to the belt tensioner. All right, this is your belt tensioner here. Uh, you just get whatever size socket that is. I don't know, I'm gonna guess around the 16. We'll see. Uh, turn that, it'll loosen the belt, and then we'll pull the belt off. Okay, and I was wrong at the 15. Uh, all right, Adam, up top, will you uh, pull that belt? Oh, hold on. Let me fish it out of here. Hold on, don't pull. Can you pull the belt off somewhere up there? Like, get it off something. There we go. I need it off everywhere. I'm working on this Here we go. There's that. That should give you some more slack here. Pull down. All right. Now you're up, we're up the top of the motor. Alrighty. Let go of the tensioner now. There's that. Alright, old belt's off. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do it from up top. Uh, you need that bottom shroud off to be able to get the belt off to get to the tensioner and everything uh, but to remove the idler pulley just do everything from up top well here's the old one as you can see it's pretty well demolished Okay, uh, the spacer, it'll come off your old one. Make sure you save that because you need that to space it away from the motor. 
and that'll just fit right in there and then uh, we'll go ahead and throw this back on uh, make sure oh and then flip it over here that washer focus ha ah, we're working on a focus <laughs> um, but yeah you'll have the washer idler pulley and then your spacer and go ahead and put it back in there go ahead. All right, after you get that tight, uh, make sure you uh, double check and make sure that your idler pulley still spins freely, which I don't know if you can see it down there. It's not focusing, but on my arm. Uh, but... It spins freely, so we'll go ahead and start putting the belt back on. Alright, we're trying to weasel this belt in here. The diagram for the uh, belt, how it routes, is gone, so we're kind of guessing. Just make sure that any time that it's, uh, you got a pulley with the ribs on it, that the uh, rib side of the belt goes to it and then the flat pulleys get the back side of the belt so we're just kind of guessing how it went since we didn't really pay attention to how it was sitting before but uh it's pretty self-explanatory uh hopefully your car still has the diagram or you can just google it Which and should be right here yeah it's usually right there but that one's like melted off so, all right, Blake, you're going to need to go underneath. All right. Because I got the first part and I got the second part, but I can't get the belt to come back. I don't. There's just not enough room for me to stick my hand for this. I don't know if this is the, wall, the AC condenser right here, Blake. All righty. Can you, go, can you feed it just a little more to me? The compressor. Okay. There. there we go. Okay. Now, everything's back towards your direction. Alright. It needs to go back up right here. Alright, back down here. Be right. We're wrong somewhere. All right, you should have the room now. Not quite. How about now? Nope. Hold on. I'm gonna take some from you. Okay. How about now? Keep going. Um, there we go. I got it halfway on, so there you go. All right. Double check everything here. Everything on this side is good. Everything on that side is good. Match. Yeah, everything's good. Sometimes you need a skinny person with skinny small hands because sometimes our fat hands just don't do it. Um, and if if need be, don't be don't be scared to look the diagram up. You know, we just had to. It's better to look it up and be right the first time than have the belt run the wrong way, start it up, shred the belt. All right, so at this point, we're gonna, you make sure that everything's right, everything's tightened to where it's supposed to be. Uh, Blake or Nelson will go start the car. And if it does anything funny, immediately shut it off before we tear the belt up. All right, 
right, you ready? Here we go. Clear. Sounds like it is successful to me. I butchered that word. All right, gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, splash guard back on that covers the belt and uh, set the vehicle back down on the ground. Okay. Okay everyone, hopefully this video helped you out on how to replace a idler pulley on a 2011 Ford Focus. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And always, like and subscribe. I make signals, all right? <laughs> he makes eyebrow movements. <laughs> Start over. Now. <laughs> Just all go. Alright guys, hopefully this video... I just heard it. <laughs>